Bezat Shem in Ha is going to be 425, please be on time. In terms of a person that has uh, made a mistake and did not say the proper tefillah of the rains, meaning let's say in the case where he thought that right after Shmini Atzeret you're supposed to switch to Veten Tanumatari Baracha, or as we do Barach Alenu, and he switched early, before the real time. We know we only switch after December 4th. And he switched already two months before and started saying Barich Aleinu. Or in Eretz Yisrael, same thing, where they switched on the 7th of Mar Cheshvan and he switched before the 7th of Mar Cheshvan and started saying Barich Aleinu. In all of these circumstances, the Alakha says he's not required to go back. Even if he remembers in the middle of the Tefillah, he's not required to go back. And the reason is because it's not... Uh, a time of klala, where the rain is bad for the world. It's a time where the rain is in season, and it's appropriate. It's just we haven't yet gotten to the point where we ask for it, but since it's an appropriate time, it's a fitting time to ask for the rain, therefore, if he did ask early, he would be Yotzei Yedei Chovah, the tefillah does count for him. So that would apply even now in America, if someone accidentally said, Barich Aleinu, instead of continuing with the Barichenu, he would be Yotzei Yedei Chovat Tzfilah. He would be exempt and not have to go back for the Tzfilah. Some authorities say, you know what? It's still better to make a stipulation after you finish that you're going back. Maybe uh, you're still uh, not Yotzei. So some opinions hold, go back and make a stipulation that if you're not obligated to go back, it's a donated Tzfilah. But uh, that's not required. That's only if he wants to go ahead and to do that, to cover all of his bases, he could go ahead and do that. But from the halakha, he fulfills the obligation. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen ve'amen.